Almighty 56 centimetres in length. Woo! A curious looking creature across between a hard boiled egg and a prize winning cauliflower. <laughs> Marianne was a world class trolley dolly flying for KLM, and in those days, she had to return to work six weeks after the birth. KLM, in their great wisdom, sent Marianne as far away as possible to Australia and 17 days. Oh. My big moment had arrived. I, the father of the bride, was about to uphold a long-term ambition and become a mother. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, it was just me at 3 a.m. in the morning breastfeeding this funny little creature <laughs> who thankfully was as good as gold. We were living in a small railway cottage with a cast iron spiral staircase Natasha lent to work on this, climbing the stairs with two hands and her mouth, gripping each tread for balance. <laughs> the small railway cottage was only 11 feet wide, but we had some powerful JBL speakers, which encouraged Natasha to sing daily, leap about the furniture, dancing and shouting, and screaming all at the same time. In fact, to this day, Natasha's decibel range is considerably higher than anyone we know, and Christian often carries supplies of earplugs. Isn't that right? Really right. Foghorn leghorn. By age three, four, Natasha already had great uh, ear for music and was already following her parents' obscure musical taste. Turn. <laughs> this was highlighted when Marianne and the, took Natasha for a welcome day at the local kindergarten. And within minutes, Natasha was asked if she could sing the head teacher a lovely little song. Naturally, we all expected Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, but no, Natasha paused. Natasha frowned, and then her eyes lit up. <laughs> Relax, don't do it when you want to suck to it. Relax, don't do it when you want to come. Huh. Huh. Thankfully, Madonna, the Bangles, and Kylie Minogue were all around the corner. With the arrival of little Ashley, Natasha's brother, hey, hey. and our kids traveling the globe with their personal stewardess, driving thousands of miles to a pad in Antibes, grandparents in Holland, Natasha became a teenager, teenager and was immediately scouted by a modeling agency. Somewhat amazingly, and amazingly, one of her first jobs was to go on tour with the rapper Eminem. <laughs> Natasha was one of four models known as the Eminem Girls. Their job was to look after VIPs whilst hanging out in black PVC swimsuits, black knee-high high boots, oh, yeah. and drinking and offering tequila shots to Slim Shady's VIPs. However, the day before Natasha was to fly off to Eminem's Dublin gig, Natasha tripped over a handbag, battered, and at the Cafe Royale, she landed on her chin, which in turn, she needed several stitches. Natasha called the tour manager and told him she'd accidentally tripped over a large pothole in Richmond Station and bruised her face. Wasn't true, of course. Natasha feared she would be taken off the tour and was summoned for a decisive meeting with the legendary Eminem. <laughs> Natasha nervously walked in to meet the Eminem team, complete with her chin covered in stitches and plasters. Fearing the worst, Eminem's response couldn't have been more surprising. He loved it! Natasha looked so ghetto! <laughs> she was an injured soldier! She gave the VI room VIP room, real street cred. Yeah. <laughs> <Man> <laughs> yeah. Management then insisted that they would sue Richmond Station for carelessly leaving a massive pothole uncovered. Thankfully, by the time the tour ended, they had forgotten all about this. So the tour was the starting gun for a modelling career that covered all bases. Lorraine Kelly, Richard and Judy's This Morning, a crazy series on Sky, The Ultimate Playboy, yeah. staying in luxury mansion, filming in Captain Teeth, racing cars with Eddie Irvine, jet skiing in Saint-Tropez. 
Then there were endless campaigns, including Nick Ofari, m and Ralph Lauren, Armani, Roller Murray, DKNY, the mighty Bowden catalogue sessions. Oi, 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 oi. I know some of the Bowden crews are here today. Yeah, they are. And by no means least, the high street phenomenon, which is undoubtedly the mighty Next. Yeah. And of course, last year's four day fashion festival, catwalking at the Coronation Festival at Buckingham Palace for the Queen's 60th birthday oh. anniversary. Next, Natasha took to the water. Natasha was asked to shoot a Rosemont wine campaign and the first of many underwater shoots. Representing white wine with Martha Hussey, yeah. Natasha was sewn into a huge floaty dress and strapped by her ankles five metres deep. Twelve hours underwater, two days work and breathing through an air pipe. Foghorn had been silent. <laughs> Other underwater jobs followed, including filming at Pinewood Studios and the sexy James Bond silhouette title sequence for the opening credits of Skyfall. The job description insisted Natasha film butt naked alongside Daniel Craig. Craig. She could hardly refuse. <laughs> and incidentally, least we forget, Ashley worked on the special effects for Skyfall. Yeah. A family one too. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Natasha also attended Skyfall's film premiere with her bridesmaid, <coughs> Dominica. Yeah. As Bond girls modeling Amanda Wakely, in fact, one of Natasha's first ever jobs included modeling and Amanda Wakely full-length white gold evening dress. And today's wedding dress is a wonderful Amanda Wakely creation. Let's Bravo, it, Amanda! <laughs> of course, modelling in London means partying hard. And I mean partying hard whilst drinking endless <laughs> bottles of Dom Perignon with Alex and Zoe. We used to love the stories, especially Natasha meeting various celebrities. I do recall, however, Natasha meeting Chelsea footballer Frank Lampard, <laughs> who had just been awarded the title Footballer of the Year. <laughs> Natasha, clueless, having never heard of Frank Lampard, <laughs> says, and what do you do then, Frank? Oh, I play football for Chelsea. Natasha, well, did you score a goal today then? <laughs> Frank, no. <laughs> Natasha, well, you're a bit crap, aren't you? <laughs> Then Natasha, who was modelling diamonds for Boodles and Dunfawn at Mansion House, cue James Hewitt, ex-polo player and mystery boyfriend to Diana, Harry's Princess Harry's of Harry's Wales. Harry's oh, oh. Hewitt sle secretly slips Natasha his business card and then proceeds to growl at her like a tiger from across the room. Arr, arr, arr. What did Princess of Wales ever see of him? Thankfully, Natasha didn't see him ever again. <laughs> Yet amongst, there is a conclusion coming here, folks. <laughs> Yet amongst all this hectic, hectic mayhem, Natasha was on a modeling job and met one Christian Lambert. <laughs> a few weeks later, Christian nervously turns up in our house to take Natasha on a date. Yes, Christian's taking me to the theatre tonight. We're off to see the woman in black. Apparently, Christian had already seen this six or ten times already. <laughs> Talk about obsessive women in, black women in black compulsive disorder. <laughs> Natasha had met her match. <laughs> For three years, the lovebirds both lived with us prior to finding and rebuilding their current mansion in St. Margaret's. We have shared rock concert evenings with Guns N' Roses, the Rolling Stones, Woo! and spent many a weekend devouring Christian's legendary jerk chicken. <laughs> we have also witnessed and overheard the dozens of nicknames Natasha and Christian throw at each other. <laughs> Christian's favourites for Natasha are Main Gel, short for Madam and Angel, Monkey, Retard, <laughs> Donut, egghead, 
or when Natasha really annoys him, and he told me this when he was on time difference, <laughs> shit bag. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha, <laughs> Natasha, by comparison, really throws the boat out. Christian will always be her angel, Ange, Angelo, Yanni, Tian, Ruby, Bubba, Bubba Gump, B Gump, Bubba Gump Shrimp Farm. <laughs> I'm so tempted to say what our nickname is for Christian, but... <laughs> the Lodger with the Itchy Todger. <laughs> so... We, we have all watched Bubba Gump Shrimp Farm and Mangel's relationship grow. Christian is sensitive, kind, caring, generous, yeah. and really, yeah. Natasha has met her perfect match. Yeah. Now listen, Christian, yeah. to love or to be loved is the most important thing in life. Yeah. A toast to the beautiful couple, yeah. Natasha and Christian. Chin, 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 chin. I've got it, I think. Well, I'll have something in a minute. Bravo! Yeah, I'm done. That's it. Bravo! Here, here. Here, here. Here, here.